Well, um, my name is Knox. I live in Maryland, and I'm 47, and I'm bisexual. Um, I first realized it. You know, it's hard to say. Certainly, in my early teens, early teens, I recognized it. I, I didn't necessarily put a word to it, um, but I realized as a teenage boy that I was attracted to boys and girls. Um, you know, it was kind of a, I don't know if there was one earth shattering event or anything. It was just one of those things that over time as a teenager, I realized it. Um, I didn't really put a name to it for a long time or, you know, I'd, I've never gotten caught up in labels too much. Um, even now, bisexual, pansexual, fluid, queer, bi plus, any of those work. I don't get real caught up with the labels. Um, in terms of when I first uh, came out to somebody was, oh boy, uh, probably 15 years ago or so. I was working, I'm a veterinarian, and I was working and uh, I was doing surgery on a little animal and uh, the tech who was helping me was someone I'd worked with for a number of years. We were having a conversation, and then so she just kind of blurted out, well, I think you're the best sexual Dr. Inman. <laughs> and, you know, up until that point, I hadn't really told anyone. I was, a, I kind of felt like if someone asked me, I'd tell them the truth. I just wasn't going out of my way to tell anybody. So at that point, I told her, and uh, that was the first time. Uh, it was some years before I really told my my, my, fam my immediate, my parents, my brothers, told my brothers first, then my parents. And they overall took it pretty well. And then it's, it's awkward for my dad, you know. He, so when I talk with them, we don't really talk about that part <laughs> to any degree, um, but they still accept me. Uh, Dating-wise has been tough. Um, never really had success in the dating world, to be honest. And part of that has been, you know, I'm, I don't watch football or basketball or baseball. I, I'm not a church goer. I'm not a drinker, although, you know, I'm totally fine if other people are, just as long as they respect others and are responsible. It's just not really my thing. So I, mean, I realized if I was straight or gay, it wouldn't be easy. But being bisexual definitely makes it harder. Um, I'm honest about it these days. I'm, uh, you know, I post on my Facebook page about issues I care about, including bi plus issues. So I'm, I'm very upfront about it. And truthfully, I'm a lonely person. And I think loneliness is something that is a problem in this day and age. And especially amongst the bi plus community, I think it's a serious problem. Um, Despite the stereotypes, a lot of bi people, I think, are lonely and alone, and I know I am. Dating's been almost impossible. I mean, uh, people, I'm in my 40s, as I said, and when you're over, when I call, as I put it, the over 35 crowd or not, in the dating world, the over 35 crowd is not uh, open about bi men. Bi men in the dating world are not popular in the over 35 crowd is what I have found. Especially, you know, people looking for relationships and I look for a relationship. And that's not something that relationship many people want, a bi plus person. So, I mean, I've literally had it where, uh, like, in a, whether it was a dating site or whatever, I was communicating with somebody, it seemed to be going pretty well, and then, when my, my, and then they seemed to be interested, and then when my sexuality was revealed, I, it's like a light switch being flipped off. I mean, any interest they had instantly disappears. And, um, you know, I continue to try, and truthfully, it's not worked out. So, I've never been able to find anyone. So, I'm one of the, I think, quite a, numerous bi plus people who are alone and lonely. And hopefully by being out and by talking like this and posting on Facebook page, I'm hoping that slowly it'll change people's minds so that maybe people who are younger than me coming up after me will have a better time at it than me, will have more acceptance and find dating easier. Because the truth is, for me, I hate to say it, I don't think there's a whole lot of hope for me finding true love. But hopefully that if more of us are out and more of us are open about things, it'll make things easier for those coming after us. So... My name is Knox and I'm still bisexual.